Right now at the State House, a group of lawmakers are discussing an issue that's been we've been covering now for years, whether or not campus police should be armed. Iowa News News reporter Steph Machado continues our local coverage tonight live from the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Lawmakers are considering whether campus police officers should be required to carry guns. Supporters say it would protect students and staff, but not everyone is for it. We've learned the Rhode Island College president does not support arming officers at Rick. Campus officers at Rhode Island College and CCRI do not currently carry guns, instead calling local police during an emergency. Representative William O'Brien wants to require campus officers to be armed. God forbid if something happens where we have an active shooter situation, the only thing that prevents and stops it is an armed security officer. Current law allows college campuses to arm their officers, but doesn't require it. URI decided to arm its campus officers in 2015 after a scare in 2013 when they determined it takes too long for South Kingstown police to get to campus. But Rhode Island College President Frank Sanchez says at Rick, Providence Police and North Providence Police can arrive in less than three minutes. We obtained his testimony he plans to give the committee Wednesday night. It says, quote, I believe this in the case of Rick's campus. Arming our officers is not a necessity in order to execute our educational mission. I do believe at this time firearms are most appropriately handled by and limited to local authorities. But a security officer can be 20 seconds away, might be 10 seconds away. That's why I put the bill on. And a spokesperson for the Rick Police Union says they do support arming their officers. Those Rick officers plan to testify before the House Judiciary Committee, as does Rick and CCRI. We'll bring you more on that. It's uh, beginning right now. Tonight on Eyewitness News at 10 and 11. Live at the State House, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.